Look at you, looking at me, you little bit. Hi, Casper. My wife Mandy and myself have been fans of yours for a long time now and find your reactions absolutely brilliant. They cheer us up so much. Thank you. <laughs> we actually barely laugh at some of the reactions and comments you make. Outstanding, mate. Thank you. Unfortunately, on Saturday evening, Mandy suffered a heart attack. She's only 55, two years younger than myself. She's been in a coma since. Today, they attempted to bring her around, but she wasn't ready. They will try every 24 hours and they will find out how we can move forward in our lives together. We have been married for only three months, together for three years, and it's been a wonderful life together. Can I ask you a massive favor? Could you please mention her in one of your videos or a short a short video for her so I can show her when she comes around? I know it would make her smile. Thank you, Gray. Mandy. Right. Right, Gray. Put, put this part up to her ear, okay? Mandy. Hey. Look at you. Wake up! All right, you're not at home. You're not at home chilling out. Okay, you're in bloody hospital, mate. Rambo it. You're rambling sleep right now. Good. W well done, okay? But it's time to wake up. Look at you, okay? Maximum sleeping, please! All right, okay. I've got a funny feeling you're going to wake up now. You're just, just going to be like, what? Yeah, well done. Wakey, wakey. Hey, all right? All right, concentrate on this video, please. Okay. I've got a funny feeling, Gray, that today's the day and she's going to wake up. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Side. How the devil are you? I hope you're banging, mate. Huh? Bloody banging. Today, we're going to look at a little channel called Fearsome Tub 5. Absolutely, Looney, mate. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay, this video is called Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos That Are Seriously Terrifying. Okay, get ready, mate. Without further ado, die daily day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, face up top five. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Thank you. Paranormal things happen around you every day. Jesus, it's very loud. Okay, it's very loud. Is it? Fuck it. All right. And in the 10 videos you're about to watch, you'll see exactly what's been hiding in the dark nearby. Number one. Number one. TikTok user RosePetal1K is an account run by a woman who doesn't post very many videos. But just recently, she saw something on a ring camera that she deemed worthy enough to share with the internet. At 2 in the morning, something triggered her camera's motion sensor, and what was caught sent chills down her spine. Mm. Are we looking at the window here? What? Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh no, it's a weirdo bastard at the front of your bloody drive, mate. Look at you, get a fucking job. It's down here, mate, if you don't, can't see it. Over in the neighbor's yard, something chilling can be seen. An eerie dark figure looks to be walking back and forth, going in and out of view. This oh. ominous black figure is just barely visible and doesn't exactly look human. I'm not sure whether to brush this- How does it not look human? Does it, I mean, it's got a head, it's got two arms, a body, legs. How does it not look human? Off is nothing out of the ordinary, or call it paranormal. So I'll let you decide. Number two, Over baby! On the WV Para Investigations TikTok account, the team recently set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Bill Manor. Known as the most haunted house in Ohio, this historic home was built in 18. That's a nice house, mate. Look at that. Imagine having your cup of coffee in the morning just waltzing around there. Hey, <laughs> hey, <Hello>, John! <laughs> How are you? Your house is still looking vile and beautiful. <laughs> Yes, yeah, needs a paint job, but we'll get there at some point. Maybe next summer! <laughs> 98. And in 1920, this house was sold to a family who were looking to settle down. 
but unfortunately, tragedy seemed to follow them until their untimely death shortly after. Tragedy! For moving in. Sorry. Fast forward to today, an intense activity is said to take place inside. Hearing disembodied voices, seeing shadowy figures, and rumors of people being bitten and scratched in the basement are just mm. a few of the things reported to happen within these walls. What is it with ghosts that bite and scratch? Alright? What a fucking pussy! Imagine being in a fight! If someone's in the pub, they... Hey, just, mate, you just spilt my drink? What? Ah! Uh, uh, can, can man up! Well, before the WV paranormal team could begin their investigation, they first wanted to film a walkthrough of the property. But during this walkthrough, something made an appearance. <laughs> fucking hell, mate! Are you fucking kidding me? What? Hell? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I was thinking about what I said, and I thought, I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not promoting violence, okay? It was just a joke. And I was going on my head, and then I just heard all of a sudden, so I wasn't paying attention for the next clip, and then it said, something just made an occurrence. He turned around, and some fucking person was walking toward, and I'm like, is that the ghost? Is that the bloody ghost, mate? Because the sound effect came exactly the same as the ghost, unless there was something behind. Let me just see that again. I'm so sorry. But during this walkthrough, something made an appearance. <sighs> Mate, are you saying that that dude is the ghost? Oh, no, no, okay, I'm tripping out. <laughs> the sound effects are going as he's like mysteriously walking towards the camera. Like, what's going on here? What? Did I miss? I missed something. Look, there's the ghost walking up the stairs. <laughs> Shortly after walking through the front door, something chilling was captured. What? As fellow investigator Scott walked towards the camera, a dark figure could be seen oh. behind him. Mate, my eyes are tripping out. I saw, I saw like a hat, maybe? This eerie figure quickly darted towards the left out of view. What was it? Isn't that... Isn't that sort of like a... Um... Isn't that like a camera glitch? You know? When you get that interlacing. I've just learned that that recently. Interlacing. Because I'm uploading on Facebook and it's fucking inter interlacing or whatever it is. I've got to try and get rid of it. You know? You it's not interlacing, but it's something similar to that. Only be seen for a few moments. So could this be proof of the spirits lurking inside? No. Well, I will definitely not be visiting to find out for myself. Mm. Number three. Carl and Nancy from the YouTube channel Hunt Carl. Hunting the Haunted are a group of paranormal investigators that travel state to state searching for anything paranormal. And in one of their videos, they set out to investigate an old abandoned house located in the middle of the woods. After speaking to neighbors, Carl learned that no one has lived in this house for quite some time because of how haunted it is. Well, as they began their investigation, Nancy caught something bizarre on her thermal imaging camera. Here we go, mate. Did you hear that? I heard that, mate. I heard a... Rooster? Was that that, was that, was that what that was? <laughs> Uh, 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 what? 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 Was that a face? A mysterious cold spot that almost resembled a face showed up. And as she continued to pan the camera around, this face seemed to fade away. 
Not long after, something else was caught on camera that shows that they were not alone. You're not alone. Is there anyone here with us? Big, beautiful room. It is. There's nobody here. Lock the door. I've got a funny feeling we're going to hear footsteps, mate, on another level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that, mate? Beautiful, this place is. After telling Carl to lock the door, a faint male voice can be heard responding back, saying, yeah. Although she didn't hear this voice at the time, it's pretty obvious that something could definitely hear her loud yeah. and clear. The two continued exploring the house, and once again unknowingly captured something chilling. Who's here with me? I think something's upstairs. Rob it, mate! Look at that. Oh my fucking god! We got a, we got a, a non-leg day ghost here, mate. Oh my fucking god! Okay, sorry. I thought his legs was those sticks. All right. <laughs> it was a chair. I thought it was his legs. I thought he was skipping leg day. Look at that. Look at that activity. Look at that. Shit in hell! <laughs> Imagine having legs. His skinniest fucking table chair legs. Uh. Yeah, that was a rooster for sure. As Carl's EMF meter began to tell something, an apparition can be seen in the reflection of a nearby window. What looks like the silhouette of a man appears to be- It effing is, mate! It effing is! Look at you! Look at the state of you, mate, eh? Rambo in the white shirt, liking it. Standing somewhere in the room. That's an old man. I I, I think that's- he's, he's got to be- his name's George, right? I, 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 I'm, I'm connecting to my medium- medium ship. You know, like a, a medium, right? His name's George. He's 78 years old. He always wore that white shirt on a Sunday. Somewhere in the room. Now it's impossible for this to simply be Carl's reflection, as he's clearly moving his body to film while this dark figure stays completely still. Neither Carl or Nancy know how to explain this, but the only explaining I think they need is how to get out of that creepy ass house ASAP. Number four. Number four. Over on the Paranormal Planet YouTube channel, a video was posted of what's believed to be genuine proof of paranormal activity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a man named Jim and his wife Emma decided to go on a trip to Savannah, Georgia and stay at the 1790 Inn. This eerie old hotel was established in 1790 and has accumulated a long list of ghost stories over the years. The ghost of a young boy is said to roam the hall. Oh, don't, oh, please don't have black eyes, mate. All right? Don't have black eyes. ...of the old inn. And while guests sometimes catch a glimpse of this ghostly child, not much is known about who he really is. Well, during Jim and Emma's stay, they set up a camera to record overnight while they slept. And when they later looked back at this footage, they were shocked at what they saw. They don't see him. Please don't see him. With the black eyed peas, mate. What's the fucking creepy ass doll doing there, mate? Look at him. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what looks like a letter on the table mysteriously got yanked off by an un- That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. ...unseen force, and the very next night, a camera was set up to record this small creepy doll overnight, 
and what happened next is absolutely chilling. <sighs> Look at it, mate. Look at you, baby Hellraiser, huh? It's gonna do a somersault, mate. It's gonna do a Stranger Things somersault. Look at his mouth. If his mouth opens up like, meh, meh, like, like, what's that? That little penguin. P what is it? Pingu? P P dog, 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 dog. Dog, dog, dog. Whatever it sounds like. A motherfucker. I'm Dahan. I'm Dahan. I am paying close attention. With your black eyes, mate. Oh, shit in hell, man. Look at the chicken. <laughs> hey, look. I got a comment a while ago. Why do you still get chicken? Because it's fucking freaky shit, mate. Saw your hair out as well. Look at his arm out, hey. You fucking looking at me, mate? Huh? You fucking looking at me? It's like doing yoga of some sort. Oh shit, it's just gone back. It's right, it's had a look. It's had a look at you, just gone, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Video, this dog can be seen lifting and turning its head directly towards the camera. Then soon after, the doll laid its head back down on the chair where it was before. Now terrifyingly enough, if you take a closer look at this doll's eyes, they actually appear to look around. This terrifying footage has left this couple feeling very uneasy. Ooh. And I think it's for the best if this creepy little doll meets my friend, Mr. Blowtorch. <laughs> Number five. Number five. The Paranormal Watch YouTube channel is run by a couple of paranormal investigators dedicated to making contact with spirits on the other side. This paranormal duo have conducted a handful of investigations at various creepy locations. Mm. But funny enough, they managed to catch something paranormal on camera without even trying. At their home in Florida, the camera mounted to their house detected motion in the middle of the night. And this is the footage that was caught. <sighs> I see an arrow going left to right, mate. Oh, okay. Right here. Oh God, it's a wandering ghost. Don't know what the F is doing, mate. Who am I? Where am I? To the right of the palm tree, a very faint apparition can be seen walking around. This almost transparent figure moved back and forth. Easy to miss if you're not paying attention. Oh, mate, it's, right, it's walking really quickly as well. It's like that other video that I did the other day where they're looking through the door and there's a black shadow that just goes... What is it? Like, what, how can they move so damn quickly? I mean, I, I can. I'm like Usain Bolt. But, like, you know... This clip just goes Look at it! Sometimes paranormal things come to you when you... What? It's just so damn fucking creepy! It's so creepy. They do it deliberately, don't they? Just F you up, mate. Least expect it. Number six. Number six. Ariana and Samantha are a couple that have a YouTube channel where they've posted a ton of videos of them doing fun things together. Well, one of these fun things that they decided to try together was ghost hunting. While trying to choose a location to explore, Samantha's aunt told them about a nearby cemetery rumored to be very haunted. Mm. With this cemetery in mind, this duo set out towards their destination. With that Rambo dog right there, like, ah, I'm fucking ready, mate, let's go. But after arriving, the two felt very uneasy and decided to just record a few videos from the comfort of their car. But mm. while looking back at their footage, they noticed something chilling. Was that somebody? Was that somebody? What? 
I, 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 very I, I, short clip, a small dark figure can be seen in front. Oh my God! Oh, look at you! <laughs> oh, mate, I think we just found ourselves a ghost. God damn it! Who that? Who that? We just said we just found ourselves a ghost. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. <laughs> it's right there, black and white. A tombstone. This misty apparition was motionless, just a few feet away from the car. Look at it, man. If you look closely, you can tell that this was not a shadow being cast. Everyone they've shown this clip to agrees that it's definitely paranormal. May I? <laughs> I think that could be. You know, what do you think, hey? What do you think? That was a good one. But let me know what you think. Number seven. Number seven. A guy named Sean and his girlfriend Gina live full time in an RV with their two dogs. And for the last two years, they've been filming their travels and the creepy locations they end up at. Well, in their most recent video on their YouTube channel, Black Sheep Tra- Fuck me, I'm freaking right out now, mate. Proceed. Avel. Shit. It's my missus. They decided to investigate a bridge known as Dead Woman's Crossing. Located in Oklahoma, this bridge has been an urban legend for many years. Mm. Back in 1905, a woman named Katie James and her baby Lulu Bell were getting a ride in a buggy by a woman named Fanny Norton. <laughs> Fanny ended up murdering Katie, but thankfully didn't harm Lulu Bell. And it said if you go to this bridge late at night, you, you can see Fanny! Either see or hear a woman crying for her baby. Well, during their investigation, they were shocked at what began happening around them. We'd like to talk to Katie. I've noticed there's some sigils here. I don't like that. Is Katie still here? I think I've I think I've not really listened to the storyline. Did she say that she killed her baby? Or so or is Fanny dead? I don't I, I is the Fanny like what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I'm just looking out for fucking freaky shit. Okay? I think she said you can hear the baby cry, which I'm assuming that she's killed her baby, but then is Fanny dead as well? She should be if she's done that. Can you throw something? I'm upset. I'm upset. I know, I'm so sorry. What happened to you wasn't right at all. We're sorry to hear about what happened. We come in peace. Mate, if I if I hurt hear a baby cry now, mate. And we just want to help you. We don't need any harm. Is Fanny here at all? Why did you do that? Why did you lure her in the middle of nowhere? Hopefully we get an answer. What was Fanny's last name? Oh my god, did you hear that shit, mate? Oh my ooh, fuck ooh, ooh, no. I heard things smashing into the water and then crying. Fall. Fall! Oh my that? god, oh my god. No way. Look at the time. Look at the time down the bottom right hand corner. Look at the effing time, mate. No way. It's three o'clock. What was that? Hang on a second. Right. What was that? No way. It's bang on three. Is that? Is it? I, I always forget. Is it half three or three o'clock? No way. 
What was that? What the f***? Some, something just got thrown off the bridge. While trying to make contact, the sound of two heavy objects falling from the bridge and plummeting into the water can be heard. And between the two splashes, an eerie, unexplained noise came from somewhere nearby. And even more incredible, as soon as this happened, one of their devices said, fall. Yeah. According to the urban legend, after Katie was murdered, she fell from the bridge into the water, making this a very strange coincidence. Later on, after wrapping up the investigation, they noticed something unnerving. Oh. A red scratch appeared on Sean's arm that they can't explain. And whatever caused this to happen clearly did some damage to Sean's skin. Since this investigation, Sean and Gina are convinced that they caught proof of the paranormal, and I would have to agree. Oh, man. Number eight. The next video that we're gonna take a look at comes from an unknown source. Now, I don't have much backstory on this video, besides that a man was recording while inspecting an abandoned apartment. These are the best, mate. We haven't got much background. These are the best. But as he walked around, he was completely oblivious to what was happening directly in front of him. Oh my shit in hell, mate! Oh my god! Look at the state of this fucking video today, man! This ghost left right center willy nilly! After entering the apartment, a faint figure can be seen walking by Look. in the kitchen. This eerie apparition quickly made its way from right to left behind a door. And after re-entering the apartment, this figure made yet another chilling appearance. Also, what's that that was there and now disappeared when he walks in? Now, I don't know how genuine this video is, so I can't say for sure that this was de uh, what, what is that? definitely paranormal. Number 9. A man that goes by X runs the XAlien97 TikTok account, and his followers have come to expect his silly, lighthearted videos of him just messing around. But one of his recent uploads took a darker turn when it involved something paranormal. Yo, what up? What up? I don't know if you believe in paranormal activity or ghosts and stuff, but wait until the end of this video because it's going to trip you out. So I work security at this construction site, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we got all the trucks. Uh -huh. We got these real things right here. There you go. One of these. These things are heavy. Uh huh. Like you gotta really push it to move it. Just a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him another worker and he says i got you just guide me and i'll push it for you but it wasn't a worker it was a shadow bastard <clears throat> so i said okay cool so he was guiding him he kept telling him back it up back it up back it up and he was pushing it when he was when they were done he went around the reel to tell him thank you and uh he says that uh he was gone. And uh, we went to the office and, and they were looking at the uh, the old like memorial photos of people that worked here before. Uh, some people have passed away. And he says he recognized the guy that, that helped him. Turns out that guy has been dead since 2015, pretty much eight years ago. So, that gave goosebumps to all of us. No CCTV? Come on, man. And uh, yeah, we got that on video. Yeah, so, boy. Check it out. Holy shit, mate. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Where are we look? Here we go, mate. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, so this is him? This is him? This is him? Oh, mate, I'm fucking on another level of freaking out here, mate. I'm on another level of freaking out, mate. Oh, it was the other way around. Okay, sorry. It, it, it did. Let me see that again. I mean, does he does he start it? Does he start it moving, or does he literally just guide him? So, okay, he's he's there. You can't see any. Okay, so this is where it comes in now. What just happened there? Well, wouldn't he have seen him? Like, he's taller than the barrel. As one of the construction workers guided the massive reel while someone else pushed it, it turns out that there was no one else there. This large heavy reel seemed to smoothly roll across the floor completely on its own, as the worker didn't even touch it until he put it to a stop. As he then walked around to the other side, he was startled by the fact that there was no one there. So was this an actual paranormal event caught on camera, or just a load of mumbo jumbo? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If he disappeared, mate, I would have freaked the F out. But it was the other one out of camera, ironically. Number 10. Over on YouTube, a man named Jasko makes videos about all things spooky. And in one of these videos, he set out to explore an old abandoned asylum. With rumors of a haunting inside, he made sure not to go alone. But throughout the night, eerie things began to happen. Neck and the the phone the phone there. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we'll do the next one. So, who wants to start off? Let me let me ask a question. Go ahead. I just I just took a souvenir. Was that a bad idea? Is there anything attached to the souvenir in here? I say why? Why you take it? How many spirits are lingering around in here? Three? What did you guys hear? I heard three. I heard three. I heard three. That's what I heard too. Hello. Hello, is there, um... How many spirits are in this theater with us right now? Four? One? One? Fucking could be anything, mate. Fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's, there's a few of them, I think. We heard some dragging noises earlier. Was that you that caused it? Ooh. That place looks freaky as shit. Was that you who made that sound on the stage? Yes. Okay. We got a yes from that, huh? Do you yes. have a name? Do you have a name? Do you have a name attached to you? <laughs> that sounds demonic as well. Are you a demon? Uh, oh god. I don't think we should ask that. Oh mate, that's it's, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. Oh god. What the f What? Get the f out of here. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. I'm turning the sh I just asked if, if, if it was a demon and the doors just closed. I, I don't know if I got that on camera. All the doors just closed out. No way. They're open. Listen to them. No, they're not open. How they open? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Oh, shit. You guys want to go and explore that? Guys, were you recording that? Yeah. Holy hell, mate. I heard voices and bangs and everything. Oh, 
Demon! Yo! Oh, what? Way. You said demon on God. I didn't hear that! Demon! Yo! Oh, you said demon on God. Demon. 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 Did I say go away? Okay. Okay. Get things are getting real right now. Real quick. Oh, right. yeah. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Holy sh After asking, are you a oh. demon? The doors behind them began to slam shut. And despite this terrifying encounter, the guys decided to continue on. All right, everybody. So yeah, they just ramboed it, mate. Chris and I are currently at this abandoned school. I just pulled out the night vision camera. Chris has the Sony camera. And we're going to be doing the old-fashioned split up. Now, the reason we're doing this is to cover more area. And I'm still, like, kind of trying to understand this paranormal stuff. And I feel like the best way to really experience something is alone. Yeah. You know, because we could get two different experiences yeah. we don't know. <laughs> Mo and Angela are down in the basement. So if we hear anything underneath us, it's probably them. Yeah, it's probably them. If we hear anything above us, we should probably be concerned. So there's not an upstairs. There's not an upstairs. <laughs> that means someone's on the roof. Exactly. Someone's or on the floor we're in. So, all right. With that being said, Chris, good luck. Good luck. All righty. That's good. So, yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. That was creepy enough. <laughs> so, this place <laughs> is the school. Now, this place supposedly had a lot going on. In regards to like just bad shit, for example with the well from what I understand oh dude look how creepy that is mm. but look you the janitor bucket the janitor bucket right. Yo, what about the janitor bucket there was supposed to be some really really bad shit going on with the janitor and um I think what most said was janitor Jimmy Jimmy something, yeah. Jimmy something yeah. Jimmy! So, um it's entirely up to you I see if that moves mate because there's a lot of wings in this area. This is a really, really big school. So what I'm thinking is, if you want, you could go down this direction or down the other way. I'm going to head down here. So I'm going to go check this out. I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to go this way. All right, brother. Well, we'll see you. Let's just say 30 minutes. We'll meet back up. I'll minutes. be right back. Yeah, sure. All right, bro. See you. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Yo, those are lockers, bro. Be careful, bro, please. Elevator? Oh, bro, a bathroom. It looks pretty clean and Man. tidy. All right, perfect. I'm allowed here. Well, it's me and my cracks. Okay, awesome. Oh, jeez. Why does it go there? Oh, mate, this oh, is dude, freaky. This is awesome. Come on, focus. It's really, really hard to focus. What the hell was that? What was that? Yo, yo, Chris. You good? No. You. Oh, <laughs> Chris! What was you? That wasn't you? No, bro. I'm in here. I thought that was you. There's no way. Oh, yo, yo. That's yeah, yeah, I know. That wasn't you? Oh. While Jasko was walking through the bathroom, a loud- I don't know about that. I- I don't know about- I don't know. A loud crash came from the hall, and as he went to take a look, he discovered the mop bucket now knocked over onto the ground. Eerily- It's just- it just- It's quite sort of where, where they made a big statement that the, the, the bucket was there, like as you walk in, right in the middle of the wing, right in the middle of the, the walkway, a bucket about janitor, whatever his name was. And then that move, I, I don't know, I don't know. Early enough, just a few minutes earlier, this bucket was standing upright. Yes, and we got a good footage of that, didn't we? <laughs> as the investigation was nearing an end, something didn't hesitate to make its presence known. <sighs> All right, so we're about to do a necrophonic session. We're actually going to sit here for a long while, just listening in. Um, if things happen, we're not going to like go and chase after. We just want to sit here and communicate with spirits. This is something that you guys want us to do all the time. Yeah, I say send it. Do it. We can all ask a question at a time, or we could murder them. <laughs> Any spirits that want to communicate with us in here? We just got a hello. Mm -hmm. That is like a hello. Can I ask a question? What's, what's your name? Rat. 
I thought I just hear Jimmy. <laughs> I did not like that. No. Did you really kill a girl? <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Oh, that, that, when I ever use that, mate, and we're out in the bloody woods or something, and you just hear this. <laughs> it's just horrible, man. Those are some that serious was crazy. Crazy. Jimmy, are you here right now? Jimmy, can you make yourself known, my guy? It's so weird that I just got so. Oh, fucking hell! No, 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 no. What the f is that? Mate, if that happened in real, like, if that actually happened, mate, holy shit, I would, cr uh, people would crap themselves, man. Fucking diarrhea all over that wall, mate, I'm telling you. What the f*** is that? There's no f***ing way. Ramble it! There's no f***ing way. The lockers are closed. All the f***ing are closed. No! The are closed. What the f***? What the f***? Grab your Yo, I'm out of here. Grab your what the f Pain! Grab your shit! I can investigate, mate! Seeing pain, seeing pain. Guys, how did the lockers just close? I don't know. That was so loud. That doesn't just happen. How the f does that happen? All of them. They were all open, weren't they? Bro, I don't want to spend another video. Go, go, go. Get the Have a look inside I them. I smelled that. Do it again! What the f was that? Go, go, I'm, I'm done. Oh, someone just went down the hallway. Someone got thrown or something. As the guys were seated on the floor attempting to make contact, things took a terrifying turn. The loud bangs of the lockers slamming shut echoed throughout the building. Jasko was shocked to find all the lockers now closed when they were- I think that is an, <laughs> if that was the, okay, we, we can see it there open. They're open and then they walk in. That's good. It is good. But I think if that was actually a paranormal encounter, that is probably one of the best ones ever, right? All very clearly open right before they enter the room. I'm so... But... I don't know. I'm, I'm just a bit, a, bit, a bit critical of this one. Also, why are they all extremely open? <laughs> you know, maybe... Let's just say 50% of them open, okay? Like, why are they all open? Enter the room. I'm so glad we have people like Jasko to do these investigations. Because if it were me and I heard those lockers close, I would simply pass away. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more <sighs> from your boy. Mate, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Really good. Some of them was a little bit, okay. But some of them, absolutely, and I can't explain them. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the uh, reaction to this video, how about subscribing? It's free, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.